more in peace and blessings. You know, I just want to continue on with what I usually make my content about, which is spiritual warfare and the correlation between that and narcissism and being an agent of the kingdom of darkness, uh, NPC, empty vessel, uh, uh, agent of Satan. You know, I just want to talk about being lukewarm. You know, a lot of people are in the religious spirit you know, of Christianity, Catholicism, uh, Judaism, you know, Buddhism, whatever you may call it. Your religion may be whatever you may fall under, which, which I'm, whatever umbrella you may fall under. You know, but me myself, I'm a Christian. You know, I'm very spiritual, more so than you know religious, because God teaches you in the, through the Bible, through Yeshua's teachings, through Yahweh's teachings in the Bible. That is better to have a, a spiritual, you know, connection with Him than more of a religious. You know, because following religions is 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 basically following man. You know, a man-made teaching of God instead of, you know, f leaning on God's own understanding, like how you should, like how the Bible is made to be taught, interpreted, and read. You know, being lukewarm is not, you know, something that is, is, is very easy to overcome, you know, in certain people's cases. But if you are a true lover of God, if you are a chosen one like myself, you know, being lukewarm is not an option. The devil seeks to... to, to to devour and conquer us if, if we turn over to him, if we turn over to the dark side, so to speak, you know, like Star Wars analogy. If you turn over to the dark side, if you give yourself, your vessel over to Satan, he will devour you. You will be no more reminiscent of what you were. You will be a carnal-minded, animalistic-minded, reprobated-minded, you know, puppet of, of the kingdom of darkness. You will cease to be a person. You will seek to have connection with God, you will seek to be able to gain access to heaven, which is your true home, which is the home Yahweh expects you to, you know, want to achieve, want to embark on, you know, he wants to receive you, you know, pause. You know, Yahweh loves us all. He creates us all out of love. He gives us all free will. He gives us all the opportunity to express our, our love to him through free will. It is a gift. It is exaltation of him. You know, it is a blessing. You know, everything in life is not meant to be easy. It never will be easy. You know, but this world is demonically programmed, you know, through Freemasonry, you know, through Freemasonic, you know, control, you know, to be of a narcissistic mindset, which is demonic. Being narcissistic, doing narcissistic things is is is, is giving your body over to a legion of demons. It's being plagued by a legion of demons. It's foolishness. It is reprobated minded. It is it is it's carnal minded. It is animalistic minded. It is of the devil. You'll be under many spirits. You'll be plagued by many spirits. The only true way to counteract that is, is by truly loving Yahweh. God is by truly interpreting Yeshua, Jesus Christ's teachings 100% and, and trying our utmost to live by them, to be your cross daily. And to exude a high vibrational frequency into this world, into this physical realm. There are two realms. There's the spiritual and there's the physical God resides in the spiritual. These demons, they, 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 you cannot see their form, their true form, as they are spirits. You know, demons, you know, angels, God, the Holy Spirit. You know, they're, they're of the spiritual. You know, we are in the physical realm. This is the test before we are able to gain access to heaven or we are able to, you know, cash in our ticket to hell. This is the test. You know, we are born of sin. Adam and Eve are too, are too sinful, you know, f f parents. You know, first and foremost, Adam and Eve laid the groundwork for us to be a sinly vessel. So it is not easy to just you know, live your life 100% according to how God expects you to. But you have to believe, you have to trust in God, you have to lean on God's own understanding. You have to follow God, you have to exalt God. Yes, it will not be easy to 100% denounce every part of you which is basically part of your genetic makeup which is sin sin is our part sin is part of our genetic makeup but you have to bear your cross the only perfect person in creation was jesus christ himself yeshua but you have to you have to be reminiscent of him in your walk to this, to this narrow path of heaven you have to be reminiscent you have to bear your cross i call it bearing your cross you have to be reminiscent of jesus christ you cannot be him the walk that you that you are on in this narrow path to heaven has to be reminiscent of him. It cannot be 100%. But it has to be the opposite of lukewarm. 
And water is lukewarm and it's cold and hot. You can either have the fire of Christ burning in your soul or you can be frozen. Your soul can be frozen to death for the kingdom of darkness. You can be frozen in, in, in whatever sins, whatever demonic spirits, whatever, you know, demonic things the devil wants you to do, wants you to be, you know, for your vessel. So you can either burn for Christ in a good way, your soul, you know, the fire of Christ burning in you, you know, bearing your cross, exalting God, you know, following Yeshua's teachings, you know, following the Bible, fasting, you know, praying. You know, you can be frozen in time until your ticket to hell gets cast in. There's only two options. It's the business of souls. Being lukewarm for a Christian or a true lover of God or a chosen one is not an option. You have to find a balance because you can never be perfect. And, and we are not perfect beings. We will never be perfect beings. That is not our purpose. But you have to be reminiscent of, you have to do your due diligence to be reminiscent of Jesus Christ's his walk. Being a narcissistic person is, is, is popularized, it's glamorized, but that is because the world, these Freemasons want you to go to hell. They are demonically controlled. They are demonic puppets. They are agents of the kingdom of darkness. You know, even your church is lukewarm if they are not preaching that these are the end times. If they are not noticing, if they are not alerting you, if they are not alarming you that these are the end times. Because these are the end times. These are the days when people love themselves more than they love God. People think they are a God more than the God that they are under, which is the devil. These are very crazy times. These are the end times. This is a fallen state the world is in. To me personally, I feel like 2020 marked the end time. The signs are all there. You just have to be spiritually aware. You have to be in control of your spiritual journey. Do not let the devil sway you, persuade you, you know, coerce you to believe anything that he says, you know, is possible. Everything that this, the devil does is a lie. Everything that the devil says is a lie. The devil cannot make blessings. He cannot, you know, force himself into your life. If somebody is a demonic agent of the kingdom of darkness, it's because they gave their life over to the devil by the things that they do, by the way that their heart is made, by the evilness that's in their heart. It is not something that just happens by chance. It is not something of luck. It is, it is through years and repetition of evil. It is, just, it, is, it, is, it is practicing evil with your vessel which allowed you to be able to be given over to demonic spirits to control you, to genetically bond with your vessel. You know, it's not a surprise that a lot of people are, you know, demonic vessels or, or, or agents of the kingdom of darkness because people live their lives very evilly, very selfishly, very, very carnal-minded. And those are the things of spiritual death. And once you are spiritually dead, truly 100%, You'll be an empty vessel. You'll be able to give your vessel over to the kingdom of darkness. It's just what happens. It's just what it is. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. There's no way around it. Excuse me. There's no, you know, gray area. You either fall into the devil's trap, you know, being lukewarm. You know, if you're a Christian, the devil will show you many you know, Christian leaders or whatever religion you may be, but Christianity is the only true religion. You know, Yahweh is the only true God. So if you're going to church, if you if you're following Christian leaders who are lukewarm, you know, they're leading you to destruction. They're not teaching you right. You need to remove yourself from that establishment or, or that group or, or that or that spiritual leader. If people are not preaching, you know, in your church every every Sunday that these are the end times, they're not of the kingdom of light. They are not of God. You know, Jesus tells us to, to tell the truth. No matter who may be offended, no matter who may be angry, no matter who we, we may bother with the truth, with this light. We are not here to sin with the sinners. We are here to dine with them, to eat with them, to be amongst them. We are, we are of this world, but we are not in this world. We're of this world. We're born on the earth, but we're not in this world. We're not made to be in this world. If you are living in this world, you are lukewarm. If you love things of this world more than you love God, you are lukewarm. It is an inevitability of, of the choice that you make when you when you tell yourself, 
that you are a Christian. You either are of this world or you're in this world. You either are wheat or you are a tear. There's no gray area for God. Everything's clear. Everything's cut and dry. Because God gives us a lot of chances to express our free will through him. Out of love. God does not want your, your, your service out of force. He does not want you to be forced to serve him. That is the devil. That is of the devil. The devil was forcing people to serve him subliminally, you know, you know, through, through the media, through, through, through Freemasonic control. That is of the devil. That is the spirit of the devil. He forces people to, to, to be controlled by him. He fools people. God wants you to come to him, to exalt him, to love him, to submit yourself to him willingly, out of free will. That's why he gives every person free will. Even the angels themselves have free will. The devil himself had free will. The devil himself was lukewarm. So if you're being lukewarm, you're being reminiscent of the devil. And then I'm not saying that you have to be a perfect Christian. You have to be a perfect person in the eyes of God. I'm just simply stating that try your hardest to bear your cross every day. Try your hardest every day that you wake to bear your cross towards the near path to heaven. That is the only way to gain access to heaven. Being lukewarm does not mean that you, you don't fall under sin. You know, you fall short. Because many will fall short. I will fall short. You will fall short. We're listening to this right now. I'm chosen. Sometimes I fall short. I have fell short in the past. I'm not exempt from falling short through sin. But I do not make my sin repetitious. I do not wish to make my sin repetitious. I wish to be removed from sin in my life. I wish to live a clean life, a life for God. I wish to give my vessel over to God and, and everything that he wants for my vessel. That is my purpose. That is our purpose. That is why we are created. That is how you gain access to heaven. So you are being lukewarm. If, 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 if you think being lukewarm is, is the best option, you're only fooling yourself and you're only, you're only wasting your own time. You're not wasting God's time because he understands what this world is going to be created because he created and he understands what is going to end because he created it because he is the alpha and the omega god understands who you are your heart your, your vessel what you will do what you will not do before you even do it he just gives you the free will to do it so being lukewarm you're only fooling yourself you're only wasting your own time and when i say lukewarm to clarify to specify it i do not mean falling short through sin I mean repetitiously sinning, doing sin out of repetition, and then going to church on a Sunday and then claiming to be holy. That is what I mean. That is what I'm talking about. I do not mean for the people, the few, that, that, out, that are out there, excuse me, that actually truly wish to be clean, to live a holy life, to live a, a sanctified life through Yahweh that fall short sometimes because that's just, that is an inevitability of what Adam and Eve had set before us that is the inevitability of our, our DNA as, as just humans you always fall short but a lot of people the majority of these, these people in this world in this fallen world these agents of, of the kingdom of darkness make sin a repetitious thing they love their sin they love their folly and the Bible says they love their folly they live their folly every day in a loop. You cannot do that. You cannot love your folly. You cannot live your folly. You cannot love things of the carnal mind. You cannot love things of the world. And the Bible says, do not love this world. And then go to church on a Sunday and then claim to be the Pope. You cannot do that. That is being lukewarm and you're only wasting your own time. You're not going to fool God with that. You're not going to fool yourself because you will know who you are truly. People in this world are narcissistic, which means they, they need to live in a false reality to be able to function. But you're only fooling yourself. You're only wasting your own time. You are not wasting God's or the devil's because they are both busy. And the devil is busier than ever. Living in a false reality, refusing to be accountable for the things that you do, refusing to be the actual person that you are on a daily basis. You're only wasting your own time, potential and, and, and access to heaven You are only throwing away The access that you seek To heaven Down the drain 
That is your, that, that is, that is, if that is your, excuse me, if that is your priority, then that is your priority. But if you are and you call yourself a lover of God and you live a lukewarm life, you're only fooling yourself. Me, myself, I will always be of sin. I will always be a fleshly being, but I'm chosen. I'm a physical manifestation of the Holy Spirit. I'm a vessel of God, but I will always sin. But I do not wish to make my sin repetitious. I do not wish to love my folly. I do not wish to love this world. I do not love this world. I'm of this world, but I'm not in this world. It is a difference. I understand that I'm a sinful man, that I come from sinful parents. I come from sinful ancestors. I come from sinful forefathers, which is Adam and Eve. But I do not wish to live a life of sin and then go to church on a Sunday and claim to be a, the Pope. As simple as that. It's as simple as an analogy I can, I can most likely make. You know, off the top of my head. You cannot, you do not get to live a life of, of heinous sin, live a life of folly, live a life of, of destruction, live a life of foolishness, and then, and then go to church on a Sunday and, and, you're, and everything that you do that you that you not have not been accountable for just becomes washed away with God. And you just gain access to heaven, like one, two, three. That, that is, is, does not work like that. Just the way, just like the way people's sin has become repetitious, people live a life of sin and repetition, you need to exalt God in repetition. You need to submit yourself and God in repetition. That is how you gain access to heaven. Being lukewarm is doing yourself a disservice. You're only wasting your own time. People can never waste God's time. They only stall the inevitable. They're untimely ticket to hell. That's the only thing that you'll do is you'll stall your own untimely end. You'll stall your own feeling, the, the thoughts, the, 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 the emotions that you get from realizing that you are not connected to God. You only stall it, but you will not stop it. You're doing yourself a disservice. And if that is your purpose, if that's what you choose to do with your vessel, God bless you and good luck. You know, but be myself, I'm chosen. I have to tell the truth. I have to live in life in this narrow path to heaven. I have to exalt myself to God. I have to submit myself to God. I have to make exaltation of God a repetition daily, monthly, yearly. That is what I choose to do with my vessel and my time. If you are of the latter, then, then that is your purpose. And enjoy your ticket to hell. But if you are a true lover of God, if you claim to be a lover of God, if you want to be a lover of God, and you don't understand how to, you can't be lukewarm. You have to exalt God. Yes, we will always be sinful. Yes, sin will always be there. Temptation will always be there. But you cannot make that an excuse on a repetitious lifestyle and then claim to be holy. It does not work like that. It is the difference between being a sinful person, being born of sin, being a fleshly sinful vessel, and living a sinful, repetitious lifestyle. It is a, it is a, it is a, it is a difference. It's apples and oranges. If you sin sometimes, yes, and, and, and you pray, you repent, and you do your best to, to, to try to bear your cross every day, it is a difference between doing that and just living in sin, just swimming in sin, just diving headfirst in sin every single day, you know, then going to church on a Sunday and claiming to be a reverend, claiming to be the Pope. It is apples and oranges. So in this life, if you really truly love God like you say you do do not be lukewarm you are not hurting God you're only hurting your own chances and your own access to heaven you're doing yourself a disservice truly and, and, and surely you must realize this you must spiritually understand this that's why it is excuse me that that is why it is better to have more of a spiritual 
connection to God than of her religious because religious people in, in the things that they do are very of this world and lastly I just want to explain you know I just want to stress it more so is the difference between sinning repenting you know feeling sorry for your sin you know doing something about your sin you know re re rebuking your sin praying over your sins then continuously living a fictitious delusional sinful life not of this reality and then entering a church on Sunday and claiming to be the Pope himself with how you carry yourself when everyone around you and who truly knows you obviously knows you are a horrible person and that is what people seem to want to do be a horrible person year round on a daily even when others around you everyone who knows you knows you are a horrible person but you go to church and you claim to be the Pope with how you carry your vessel but you're only doing yourself a disservice and peace and blessings